Hello, I'm Sina Mualani, and I'm the product manager of RS3. In this video, we are going to talk about geometry cleanup in RS3. The most important and time-consuming part in 3D modeling is geometry creation. RS3, as well as other rock science 3D packages, provide a powerful tool to clean up and repair raw geometry files. In this video, we are going to review two different tools that help you clean up and repair your geometry without any effort. So let's jump in into RS3 and see them in action. In the first example, we are going to see how to use convex hull to simplify the geometry of the stones. Here I'm importing the geometry, which includes development and the stones of an underground line. So I select all the entities and click that. Now let's focus on the quality of the stones. So I select them all and hide everything else. If you zoom in, you can see the quality of the stones are extremely poor. So if we want to repair it, we need to spend a lot of time. Let's instead of repair, we simplify the volume. I select all the stops again. Go to Geometry, Surface Triangulation Tool, and click Convex Hull. Now the program asks me, do I want to create only one convex hull to cover all selected volumes, or create a convex hull for each of the volumes independently? I select No. And now you can see the simplified pieces are created that are covering the original volumes. So now I can delete the original stops. And now I can continue my simulation using the new volumes. Now, let's see the second tool, which is collapsing a small volumes. In the second example, we want to highlight another useful feature to remove the small volumes from the model. Here you can see an open pit that is already imported and I assigned the material properties to different volumes. But to finalize the model, I need to import another volume. So I go to File, Import, Import Geometry. And I'm bringing the last entity. So I select it. I assign the material to it. And now, let's do the divide all. If you check the visibility tree, you can see a lot of small volumes are created that are not good to keep them in the model. These small volumes are created because there was a small gap between the imported geometry and the material boundary of the divided entity. Luckily in RS3 and all of our other 3D packages of rock science, we have a functionality called collapse small volumes. So let's use it. I go to geometry. Repair tool, collapse a small volume. I select advanced filtering and exclude only two largest volume from consideration. In this plot, the horizontal axis specifies the number of volumes of entity and the vertical axis defines the volume of each. From the curve, I pick a point where the biggest difference between the volume starts. And in the background, these volumes will be highlighted for you. So I click Collapse, and now I close the window. As you can see, all those small volumes are removed, and geometry is much cleaner to work with. This cleanup is necessary, especially in RS3, because if you keep these small volumes in the model, later on when we want to do the meshing, these small volumes need to be discretized, and it has created a very dense mesh for you which can increase the computational time significantly. Thanks for paying attention to this video. If you have any question, please leave in the comment section below.